showcase or a clinic or a recruiting event is better than staying at home and playing Nintendo, right? If you got a chance on a Saturday to, to sit in your room and, and, you know, play video games or go to an event, you're probably better off going to the event. But you really can spend lots of money going to all of these events around the country. And a lot of people do that. And that's their strategy for recruiting is I'm just going to be out in as many places as possible and hopefully somebody finds me. Here's the reality of, of recruiting showcases and clinic events. As a college coach, which I was, when I get ready to go to these events, I am not going to randomly look at kids and see who I can discover. I am going to these events to evaluate the kids that I already know about and they already know that are gonna be there. Okay. So here's how that process works. So I have my summer schedule or off season schedule of where I'm gonna go and I contact the people running the event and I say, send me a list of all the athletes that are registered for this camp or clinic or showcase. I take that uh, list, I cross-reference it with my database of kids that we are actively recruiting and that I have in my system. I do a cross-reference check and it, let's say it pulls out, you know, 100 kids. Then I do a second cross-reference check and I, and I make sure that they have the academic restrictions that I need for my program. I might even do a third check and make sure they have like the athletic accolades or awards or height or whatever whatever it is I'm looking for. And then I get myself a list of say 20 kids that I'm going to actively evaluate at the event. So when I show up at this event on a Saturday, I have a schedule in front of me and I have at 8 o'clock I'm going to field one and I'm going to watch this kid. At 8.30 I'm going to switch over to field two and I'm going to watch these two kids. At nine o'clock, you know, so I have a plan in place. I don't just sit down and say, all right, you know, I'm gonna put my hat on, put my radar gun, you know, put an umbrella and say, all right, just, I'm just gonna watch hoops and, you know, see, or, you know, watch the lacrosse games or see who I like. It doesn't work like that because like I said, there's so many kids, I couldn't physically evaluate everybody equally. So I have to be efficient and do it with a plan and with a purpose. So I would tell a high school athlete, if you wanna get recruited, if you want to be on one of those lists, the most important thing is communicating with the coach ahead of time. Get them your video, get them your evaluations, get them all your honors and accolades and your academic information. Tell them where you're going to be playing and hopefully they will come there to specifically to watch you. Um, not just hope that they see you randomly. Uh, and that takes work, it takes uh, preparation, but if you want to get recruited, those actual showcase events can be very helpful to you. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.